yo the what up dollar silver in the building first one here like always usually <laughs> we live oh snap howdy we in here waiting for my beautiful viewers from all around the world to pile up on in here as well Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, everybody. Well, I hit the wrong button. I got to hit the go live button. There we go. Now I can see this on YouTube. Hey, now. Oh, dang. It's a bunch of y'all. Hey, now. Y'all miss me? Did you miss me? Because I definitely missed y'all. Life just ain't right without y'all. It's just weird. I don't even I, I don't even know how to function. I just stay to myself, just lay in the bed all day until I can see y'all again. That's just what I do. But we here. We is here. And hallelujah. Feels good to be back. We back, baby! We back! And so is my back. My back is back. Ow, that actually hurt to touch it. It's still a bit tender, a bit sore, because that masseuse, she went in. She went crazy on my lower back. It was almost as if she knew I had lower back issues because of that, that workout at the gym this past Friday. But I went to the gym today, and that workout helped my back tremendously. Make sure you look, this, this was my issue, y'all. Stretch. I didn't stretch before trying to lift some heavy weight. Make sure you stretch every single time, regardless of what you think you're going to be doing in the gym. Get that stretch in first. Because that day gone, whoo, I was in there hurting. I was in a lot of pain. I couldn't even walk on Saturday. It happened Friday. I couldn't walk Saturday. On Sunday, I can only drag my feet across the floor. I couldn't lift them. And then Monday I was I was limping back back to it a bit. And then yesterday I could walk yesterday. I just couldn't sit down. I, I hadn't been able to sit down like this since Friday. I could stand up straight or I can lay down flat. But step but sitting down, couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Not me. No, sir. I had to stand up straight or lay down flat. Now I feel better. I can sit. I can sit again. Like I said, my back a bit tender and sore right now, but that's okay. I'm going to put some ice on it. Like I said, that masseuse, she went crazy on my back. She went crazy. And then she started flirting with me, smacking me on the behind. I thought it, I was going to have a happy ending by the end of that, but no, that didn't happen. <laughs> it's not like I was there for it. I couldn't even participate in those type of festivities. Cause my back was broke. <laughs> how I supposed to? How? <laughs> ah, I was about to say how I supposed to break up back with my broke back. <laughs> oh man, I'm horrible at telling jokes. Cause I'm gonna laugh before I can even get it out. But um, I'm waiting. We need one more, and then I'm gonna do it. Can I do it? Are we there? What up, AOK -okay Mafia? It's your boy Arthur Kicks, and just like that, my back with another one. <laughs> we here. We is here. And we got some slap ham for y'all, boy. We got some slap ham for you. Welcome to the live stream. Y'all, we're going to do a live stream tonight, tomorrow night, and Friday night to make up. For Monday and Tuesday, not being live. And last Friday, we got to make up for that day, too. Dang. Gosh, we here. And we making up for all of it. I'm sorry. And I'm doing double uploads on the second channel to make up for those days, too. For that channel. Heck, I, and I got to do some Patreon stuff, too. Sheesh. My, I ain't even cleaned my apartment up yet. It's filthy. It's the worst that it's ever been. Because I've been out of commission, so I ain't been able to 
bend over and, and pick up stuff that I put down. So my place is a hot mess. You should see this desk right now. There's only enough room on it for my mouse right here in this little spot right here. Everything, this, wow, this is ridiculous. I need to clean up. Goodness gracious. If y'all could see this place, you'll be mad at me. <laughs> anyway, we're about to get this thing rocking and rolling. We got enough viewers in here now. What up, Green Eyes? Thank you for the first big juicy don't know of the night. All right. Let's get this going, y'all. Again, this is Slap Ham. This one scary detail will creep you out. That's the name of the video. Let's go. Guys, my EMF's in my pocket, and it's going off. Oh, the ball's gone. Oh yeah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I also got headphones now. That means I can give y'all better quality content. Tell me how I look. Do y'all like it or not? I'll I, I be scared I'm going to do a jump scare and I'm going to rip this out, this cord. I, we'll, we'll play with it. We'll play with it. I'm going I'm to I'm put the headphones in. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put the headphones in here. Let's see, let's see how y'all like it with the heady phonies, okay? Let me turn them on. I need to turn off the noise cancellation so I can hear myself talking, not talk too loud. Oh, there goes the button right there, I think. Yep. There we go. Okay. Let me know how I like this. Hey, y'all, y'all like this? Is this okay? It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Okay. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap. Slap Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious clips that can't quite be explained. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. More juicy content. Just like this. Just like this. So y'all, let me know how, how we doing. Is, is we good with the headphones? Do y'all like the, 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 the quality of the, the audio better? As far as the, the, the video that we're that we're consuming? We good? You like it? Y'all like it? I don't like it. I ain't even gonna buy the head. This ain't me. This ain't me. I'm a rip I'm a y'all know I'm a break these, right? This little tiny little little cord thing right here. Even though it's wrapped in that little rope stuff, it's gonna, I'm gonna yank it out as soon as I get scared. I ain't trying to get scared today. My back, my ache and break it back. The video sounds low, the audio too low. That's what, I, that's what I know. That's what I know. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Yep, that's, yep, can't do it. Can't do it. I don't know why, but I have the audio all the way up. All the way up on everything when I have the headphones in, but for some reason the audio still sounds low. When I did the video on my second channel earlier today, I had to go in and in editing crank the audio all the way up when I was using the headphones for videos. I don't know what's going on. So, yep, no more headphones. Good, because I don't like it no way. In June 2022, some eerie baby cam footage began to go viral on TikTok. Take a look. Man, who, who trying to play with the baby, man? Who over there trying to touch the baby with their creepy little stanky little musty little fingers? The young parents who captured this footage were freaked out when they spotted some fingers poking up through the rungs of their baby's crib. Man, parents might be capping. Might, like I said, might be. This, this could be something that actually happened. But why? This is weird. Like, why would you just do this? The baby don't know you're doing it. Why don't you just take the baby? If that was your goal, why are you in this this crib anyway? Get it? While at first this seems like it could easily be staged, a second angle on a different nine shows the parents sleeping near the cot. 
They explain that under the cot is a very small space where they... These are Bluetooth headphones. And I tried to connect the Bluetooth to the PC, but it connected, but I didn't hear no audio coming to the, the headphones. So I don't know what that was about. But yeah, they're Bluetooth. They are Bluetooth. Keep a few boxes and that there's definitely no room at all for someone to hide and reach up through the rungs. From this second viewpoint, you can see the bed look like it's breathing. See that something seems. Oh, wait a minute. See, this makes this clip even more suspicious because the parents are weirded out by the fingers creeping around in this baby's crib, but yet the parents' bed is right here next to the crib. Dad, are you sure that wasn't you? Are you a sleepwalker? You were doing some weird stuff at night that you didn't know you were doing? Be pushing the mattress in the cock upwards. <laughs> then something strange appears on the left-hand side of the cot. It disappears right as the dad wakes up and looks around the room. Yet another angle shows what appears to be two disembodied hands just under the bed. Okay, that's kind of weird. We can see completely underneath this thing. It's it's cluttered. It's a mess. It got this man's shoes underneath the crib and all this stuff. But yet, how were these hands? How are these hands right here? They look like they're above the mess, but below the mattress on this of this crib. I don't understand this. I should see a whole person underneath this crib, but yet I don't. I see hands. This is interesting. Very interesting. And why is this why what what camera? Why you got a camera recording this mess underneath this crib? What the what? The dad points out that the space just under the bed is no more than ankle high. Bro, that's crazy. On another night, more eerie footage is captured. You can see a shadow moving on the far wall. Then more hands appear under the cot. This time, there appears to be three of them. I, 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 I was thinking that too. It does look like the Adams Family hand, but two of them. A few seconds later, more movement can be seen under the cot. The Adams Family. Du, 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 du. Big Mark, new channel member in the building. Hold on, y'all. I gotta slow down the chat for my moderators yell at me. Y'all be going too fast. Way too fast. Again, as the father wakes up, whatever's under the baby's cot seems to disappear. The parents have since said they're getting rid of the cot and have asked their followers if anyone knows a good exorcist. Reactions have been varied for this series of clips. For obvious reasons, a lot of viewers think it's just a fun piece of staged footage designed to get a rise out of people. That's what I think too. <laughs> However, a fair few viewers are genuinely concerned for the baby's safety, saying that the parents should have the house blessed by a priest immediately. One viewer in particular said that they had also had an entity attach itself to a specific piece of furniture in their home. They claim it took 30 days, holy water and regular blessings from a priest to rid the presence from their home. So where do you sit on this footage? Is it... Man, better pick his leg up and put it back on the bed before his leg, the blood rests to his leg and cut off the circulation. Too good to be true? Or is this genuine paranormal activity? Share your opinion. I say that from experience because my mom used to get on me about that all the time. My legs would be hanging off my bed, and next thing I know, my legs would go numb. Opinions in the comments down below.
Thank you, Alan Wood. Oh, man. Captured by paranormal investigators hunting the unknown, this next video might have captured evidence of a ghost roaming the ruins of the Knolltown Church in Dorset, England. The church was built in the 12th century on top of a pagan worship site using stones from the original structure. In the late 15th century, the area saw despair as the population of the then thriving village of Knowlton was struck down by the plague. Those who managed to survive fled the area and the village soon fell into ruin. Despite this, the church remained in use right up until the 18th century when its roof eventually collapsed. Today, those who visit the building are treated to an eerie glimpse into its past, one that's seen more than its fair share of death and decay. To this day, there are several spirits that supposedly haunt the church and its surrounding areas. One, a phantom horse and its rider are said to gallop across the site in the dead of night, passing straight through the church as if it wasn't even there. A woman and her children who were visiting the church during the day are said to have seen a tall figure dressed in black seemingly appear from nowhere. The figure walked right across their path, then vanished from sight. Paranormal groups investigating the site have supposedly heard disembodied voices and even seen strange swirling white mists. In the Hunting Unknowns video, we see one of the investigators attempting to make contact with any resident spirits. Hello, if there's any spirits with us, can you come and touch this device with my hand, please? He holds out the device, and a few seconds later, the meter begins to register activity. You see that? No, what? I've got that on camera, I've got that on camera, it just went orange. Can you, you, you do that again, please, if that was you, so I can see it. <sighs> wow. wow. Can you flash it to red, please? Wow, wow. Bravely, the investigators continue exploring the old ruins. The pair then decide to place several motion sensing balls around the premises, hoping that they'll be able to detect something that their eyes can't see. Mm. So where's the balls? You put one out there, yeah? One mm. here, one up there, and one here. So if you stand where you are, and I'll stand here, we can both just ask some questions, yeah? And it isn't long before they begin to light up. Guys, my EMF's in my pocket. I need y'all to do me a favor. Hit that like button for your boy. We got close to 200 likes. We're trying to get 500 by the end of this live stream. Big baby. It's going off. Oh, the ball's going off. The ball's going off. The oh, ball's going well. off. What's good? Yes, thank you for communicating with us. That was going off. There's no way you could say, oh, it's a fuck you, it's the floor, it's wrong. See, I'm glad y'all put the slap with the ham in the chat. I didn't even have to say nothing. I thought about it. It was on my mind, but it just didn't come out of my mouth. That's Cream, mate. That went off. Yeah. Can you touch this device on the window sill, please? On the bottom window? Who are we communicating with? Why it's off again, man? There we go. Wow. This is cool and all, seeing a little ball flashity flashity and and the little EMF reader thing, flashy, 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 but I want to see some spirits. Show me the ghostesses. I don't care about your little lights. Uh, show yourself. Investigator then asks if the supposed entity is a child. Sure enough, the light begins to flash once more. There you go, there's two ways you can communicate with us. If you're a boy, if you're a child, can you do both of them at the same time, please? Imagine that. Yeah. That'd be good. Should we do an EVP? Thank you for showing us, eh? Oh, oh f it, man. I can't believe that. Possibly the best evidence is caught later in the video, however, when one of the investigators manages to capture something quite extraordinary on his camera. What? Take a look. Is it, like, is it a spear? Oh, is it a ghost? Is it paranormal? Show it to me. Oh, man. What the f we just caught? I want to see it. Oh. Hey, he stepped on the ball. Look, it's like a kid. Runs off. Bites nah, you, you, that. you boo. Oh, 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 what's that? It do like a kid. Looks like the thermal image of a child. One who seems to run past the pair and then disappear right into a wall. He looked like he was walking towards them with like a piece of box in his hand. And then he was like, oh, snap. And he turned around and walked into the wall. Look, it comes right close to it. Yeah, look, look at her legs. Behind that? 
Where's the thermal image imprint? You put it away. Is it then possible that this is the ghost of a child that's somehow associated with the building, perhaps even a plague victim? Chalk this sighting up as what? Nestle Crutch, I like that name. I don't know. I don't know about another video. This this camera already shut off on me once earlier today doing a live stream. I still ain't changed it to my old camera yet. I, I, I kind of don't want to, but I do at the same time. I love the quality of this camera, but the other one, just I could just keep going with that one. So, And this one got better focus. I have to do this weird little thing with the other camera. Nah, we're just going to have to stick with this one. I'm sorry. And that can be added to the list of ever-growing paranormal entities that are thought to haunt Knowlton Church. Look, it's like a kid runs off over there behind that. Look, it comes right close to it. This footage, supposedly captured in Chile, was first uploaded to Instagram by user Roger Sign and was then shared to Reddit by user FlimsyUnion1524. The clip shows four orb-shaped lights that appear to be hovering over a building. Alien! Look at the pretty alien. They remain stationary for a few seconds. What they gonna do? The camera holder then seems to indicate the direction from which they first appeared. Don't care. Put the alien. Give me alien. However, when he returns the camera's focus to the lights, they suddenly begin to ascend into the sky, flying upwards in unison before almost disappearing from view. Alien. Alien. Gotta be alien. Who else thinks it's alien? I think it's alien. As usual, the Reddit community put on their detective hats and quickly went to work trying to identify the objects. Alright, Reddit, what y'all say? What y'all got to say? Some suggested airplanes. Up. There ain't no airplanes. Air Since when do you see airplanes? Airplanes can't even sit in one spot, stupid. There's helicopters or even drones. Helicopters, drones, those are possibilities. Those are possibilities. I wanna I, I wanna discredit the drone idea because them lights is them lights is bright. And helicopters, I wanna discredit that too because they too close to each other. That's dangerous. Helicopters got propellers. I'm going with alien. However, no one seemed to be able to definitively prove just what they actually were. So for now, at least, it seems this video will have to remain a genuine. You Since when have you seen helicopters fly together like that? That ain't no dang on helicopters. UFO sighting. This next video uploaded to YouTube by Rick Now TV is chilling to say the least. In the description, the YouTuber says that he began to feel as though he was being followed by an evil presence, and that for about a month prior to capturing this footage, he'd been seeing an increasing number of nuns walking down the street. However, it seemed that whenever he asked someone if they too could see them, no one else could. Finally, one day he decided to take out his camera. This is the footage he captured. Take a look. All these nuns walking down the street and don't nobody see them? Them folks probably playing with them. Playing with him. He's like, bro. Excuse me. I need to talk to you for a second. I got a question. I keep seeing nuns. And I think they following me. Do you see them too? Nah, bro. What are you talking about? I don't see no nuns, bro. Nuns? Dude, you're tripping, bro. I haven't seen no nuns, bro. There they go right there. I know y'all see them. I know I ain't crazy. Y'all see nuns, don't y'all? I see about three of them all dressed in black. Y'all better get them channel members while she gifting them. Shout out to Jessica. 
Shout out to Jessica Newsom for gifting five of y'all channel memberships. Everybody say thank you, Jessica. She rocks. And I'm going to do a giveaway soon. I got the new merch on the way. The new Potato 99 pullovers are on the way. They will be here, I believe, on the 17th. Y'all heard that? I think they're going to be here on the 17th or the 19th, something like that. But when they get here, I'm going to be giving one of them away to one of you lucky viewers. And I will announce that giveaway and the rules of that giveaway when they get here. So nobody see the nuns? Okay. The video appears to have been filmed out the back of a moving car. On the left-hand side of the road, there are several darkly clad figures that certainly look like nuns. Yep. Slap ham sees them. As the footage continues, more and more of them can be seen. Yep, there's, there's two more nuns. There's two more nuns. And another two nuns. And, and, and two more nuns. That's a lot of nuns. I don't trust nuns. I don't, I don't trust them. I, I don't, I've never trusted nuns a day in my life since I was a little bitty kid. A little tiny, little, little tiny, little small, little kid. And I didn't trust them. Because I'm like, how are you so saint? How are you so, how are you supposed to be so perfect? You've never done anything wrong in your life, huh? You never had an impure thought in your life, huh? Nah. Ain't nobody that perfect. I don't believe it. I don't trust him. Not this to guy. To add another level of creepiness to this clip, there also appears to be a strange transparent figure captured in one of the buildings as he drives by. You a lie. Where? Could be hard to see at first, so here it is slowed down. Oh dang. He ain't transparent. He translucent. <laughs> nah, that's it's like what the what? That like a man standing in there, a little short man. Maybe that's a statue of some sort. So it seems that the But he kinda looked like he was holding the camera phone, was he? No? Just me? This footage does indeed prove that this YouTuber was seeing the nuns. But why does he believe no one else could see them? And why would all I saw was nuns of your business? There's so many. I, I, I couldn't help myself. Any of them walking in one line. And what about that other creepy figure filmed in the building? Love to hear where you land on all this in the comment section down below. They better not see themselves as the perfect Nicole, because hell, they ain't. They ain't. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody perfect. In September of 2017, a deadly earthquake rocked Mexico City. It destroyed buildings and left rescue workers to frantically search through the rubble for survivors. Heck, I just found out yesterday that there was an earthquake that took the lives of roughly 2,000 people they're still to this day going through that debris trying to find as many survivors as they possibly can it's sad i couldn't imagine one minute you're in your home the next minute your home is on top of you i saw the saddest picture yesterday of this little boy and little girl underneath debris the girl on her stomach, the boy is on his back, their home fell on top of them, and the girl has her arm over the boy's head to protect them, to protect her little brother's head. I'm like, wow. They had been under there for, I don't remember how many hours it has been, but it was a long time, and I couldn't imagine being underneath that debris, not able to move an inch for as long as they were. I think they I think they got him out of there though. Look at this. Could you imagine? 
all these people standing on top of all this rubble the weight of all these people would only make the, who, who whatever or whoever situation that much more dire I guess it wouldn't matter if you if a house or something dropped on you or this road dropped on you it doesn't matter that there's more weight added onto you all that matters is getting you out man in the ruins of the Enrique Rabsam in school, soldiers and marines use specialist equipment, including heat sensors and sensitive microphones, to search for life. Wow. Then the Mexican Navy confirmed with the local media that they had found a girl who was still alive. Frida Sofia, as the young girl came to be known, had survived the earthquake by taking shelter underneath a granite table. She'd been seen wiggling her fingers from beneath the rubble and was able to receive water and oxygen from the rescuers. For two days, journalists gathered at the scene as social media users shared messages of support online. Television channels broadcast continuous updates describing the rescuers' efforts as they inched closer to the cavity in which the poor girl was trapped. You know, I was hearing a conversation about the times that we're in and all of the, the world tragedies as far as the natural disasters, the natural disasters that occur um, around the world. And a lot of people, a lot of conspiracists think that we're at the end of our time. Um, that all this stuff is happening for a reason. When if you look throughout the entirety of history, this stuff has always happened. It has never not happened. It's always happened. So nothing's really new. Not much is different. It's just we have to go go with the blows and and continue life on. At least those of us who survived the stuff, right? The whole nation was captivated by her story of survival as it seemed to provide hope in a time so full of despair. The only problem was Frida Sophia, the young girl trapped beneath the rubble of her own school, didn't actually exist. Suspicion what? began to surface when no one came forward claiming to be the parents of the girl. Not long after this, the school itself said they didn't have a student registered under that name. Wow. And when the Navy Assistant Secretary, Enrico Samiento, abruptly announced that the school's children had all been accounted for, hope quickly turned to anger. It seems that the initial reports made by rescue workers were either false or misleading. And after the media reported the story as fact, the whole nation of Mexico began rooting for poor little Frida Sofia. The media later attributed the incident to a possible collective psychosis, a shared delusion among many people. If that was something that I was actually about to say, though. Shared psychosis is an idea that I recently learned about the other day um, from Jordan Peterson. And they were talking about it on the podcast, one of his episodes, where um, something can be fake or false or misleading, but a collective group of people will all believe it to be true, right? And it could have easily been that one person shared a story about this little girl, knowing that they made it up, and other people heard the story. And they spread it so fast and so rapidly that everybody believed it to be true. It's not the fault of those people that spread the story, but it is the fault of the individual that initiated the lie. Right? Hmm. Really, the incident mirrored one that occurred 32 years prior after the 1985 earthquake in Mexico City. Like Frida Sofia, authorities were supposedly attempting to rescue a young child buried in the debris. However, on that occasion, it was Louis Ramon Monquito, an eight-year-old boy supposedly trapped in a building in the center of the city. Why they? Why they do that? Why would they say that it was a little girl, but really it was a little boy? Is a little girl being in a dire situation like this um, a better story, or? 
more important than rescuing a little boy? Or, or are the people that rescue the child made out to be heroes if it was a little girl that they rescued over a little boy? Wonder why they would lie like that. See, the, the, this type of stuff fascinates me to the point where I am going back, or should I be saying I'm going to be taking some university courses um, come come February? No, no, not February. November of this year, I'll be taking some university courses so that I can better understand the human mind because it's very fascinating to me. It's my favorite subject, my favorite topic. Hey, I see a lot of y'all in here for the first time. Make sure FTL, first time live, you put it in the chat. Efforts to find the boy were even aided by rescuers from other countries, including the US. However, just like Frida Sofia, Monquito 2 turned out to not exist. How is it then that on both occasions, such similar stories managed to get so out of control? Were they all just hoaxes or misunderstandings? Or is it actually possible that the rescuers really did see or hear something beneath the rubble? Let me know your thoughts on this mysterious story in the comments down below. The thing that also fascinates me about this is the tragic incident occurred, right? People lost their lives. People were rescued. There are real stories of people being, you know, brought from the rubble. Why is it that the fake stories are the ones that get, like, all the publicity? Like, what sense does that make? I don't understand. I, I didn't even know that this was happening. I didn't even know that this was happening. Interesting. Before we take a look at a creepy photo that was sent to us by one of our viewers, Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Ever captured a photo that when you look at it reveals someone or something that gives you the chills? It seems that this was the case with this Oh, I remember this, this picture. Photo sent to us by Tonya Southworth. What? This wasn't a filter? In it, we see her friend, Mandy, posing for a pic, and some sort of eerie figure looms overhead. Angela, new the Patreon favorite. supporter, shout out to you. And I'll be shouting out people that was copying merchandise on the website um, during those days where I was out of commission. <laughs> I'm going to be shipping that stuff out first thing in the morning. Ale and Ghost Line can seems to be staring right into the camera. According to the poster, her friend showed her the photo after returning to work from lunch. She had gone home during the break, and when she returned, she had a strange look on her face. The poster's friend had supposedly taken the photo because she felt a coldness behind her. This wasn't the first hint at something paranormal haunting her home either. Prior to capturing this image, she had been experiencing some weird things. These included items being moved around her apartment and even having her hair pulled. So what do you think this mysterious figure could be? Is it a resident poltergeist perhaps? Or is there another way to explain the photo? Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. All right, y'all, we got one more video. We got one more video. The camera's doing good right now. Let's, fingers crossed that it doesn't act up and turn off on this next video. I think this next video is actually a tad bit shorter so we should be, we should be good. Hope I didn't jinx it. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. All right, y'all, this is... Viewers can't believe what's been caught on camera. You know what we need. We need another slap in the ham in the chat, y'all. Go ahead and spam. Today we're looking at some super creepy things that have been caught on camera that are starting to freak the internet out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Chilling scares and Mr. Nightmare. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and look those up right now because I will forget 
my memory is no good. Nottinghamshire residents have long reported strange happenings in a heritage listed building known as The Village in Mansfield, UK. Unexplained moans and shadowy figures are often said to plague the centuries old building. Dang, how is this big YouTuber or someone I never even heard of before? Historians say that an old barn once stood on the property many years ago. Prior to the 19th century, it was said to be used as a hideout for monks seeking refuge. One day, the barn was set alight and seven monks perished in the blaze. Having heard of the tragic history of the property, full-time paranormal investigator Lee Roberts decided to investigate the building for himself. Roberts and his team held a vigil. Using a Ouija board, they attempted to make contact. They even held hands, calling for any spirits to make themselves known. Several team members reported feeling uneasy, but on the whole, nothing too unusual seemed to happen. That was until Roberts checked the CCTV footage from the building. Take a look at what was captured. As you could see, an eerie smoke seems to roll through the room. Roberts has maintained that he's very scientific when it comes to his investigations. He doesn't like jumping to conclusions, but admits this is a very strange sighting. The bizarre event quickly caught on when several UK journalists ran stories featuring the strange CCTV footage. Bro, that just look like all the ghosts are out and they is just roaming about. Viewers were quick to link the story of the burning monks with the strange smoke-like substance caught on camera. Oh, that's crazy. The burning, the burning monks. Think about that. Ooh, we, this is like their essence, their spirits, their souls drifting away from the fire thought it might be vape or cigarette smoke caught on film however due to the grade 2 heritage status of the building hey hey, hey Gemini that's technically what I had I went and got a deep tissue massage and then yesterday I went and got these these nails top and bottom taken care of feel great <laughs> the venue has a strict no vape or smoking policy so what do you think's been caught on camera here could this strange smoke really be linked to the tragic history of the building? Let me know your thoughts down below. TikTok user Theater of the Absurd seems to have captured a chilling bit of ghost footage thanks to the likely haunted old theater where he works. Someone in here? Hello? In the video, the TikToker gives viewers a tour of the creepy old theatre. It's a really beautiful theatre. Oh, I remember this. You can see it at all. We've done seen this about 50, 11, 20,000 times. Theatre when no... You said, how am I able to sleep at night after watching these videos? Because my memory sucks. That's how. Because <laughs> my memory is garbage. It's like I forget this stuff. As soon as, as, soon as I turn it all off, bloop, my brain just switches into a different mode. I just forget everything. <laughs> ...means that the light is usually left on in order to help guide. And then when I have to come back and do another reaction, bloop, bloop, it just switches back on and I remember everything. Ghosts. <laughs> Four people who still remain here and whatnot. And, um... However, it's just when the uploader explains the function of the light that he immediately seems to get the sense that he's not alone. Looking up into one of the far balconies, a creepy figure can be seen lurking, watching the uploader. The camera holder tries to get a better vantage point. It's here we can make out a grey silhouette of a man staring down from the balcony. Wait, whose birthday is it? Is that Brown and Press? Is it your birthday? The uploader then follows up with a second clip in which he investigates a potential... Oh, it's your birthday month. What's, what, what's your birthday? What day is your birthday? ...intruder in the theatre. After the theater's sirens went off, alerting the worker to the presence of an intruder, he was unable to find anyone in the theater. Someone in here? Hello? 
However, explains that he did hear the sound of piano keys tinkling in another room. Oh, y'all, Steve's birthday tomorrow, y'all. He about to be 50 lemons. Going to investigate, the uploader warns the potential intruder that no one's supposed to be in the theatre. You're not supposed to be in here. The unseen figure plays a few notes on the piano in response, scaring the uploader who is now certain he's not alone. That's right, Shantae. Happy birthday to all the February birthday babies. Still, he calls out to the intruder again. Who is it? Suddenly, the lights turn off and he's confronted with the discordant and menacing notes from the piano. The clip ends with the uploader understandably worried. I don't think membership notifications work for members either. Y'all don't get, not all of y'all get notifications, do y'all, my channel members? Do y'all get notifications for my videos if you're a channel member? Or does you not, you just know when I'm gonna go live? Is that how it works? Y'all let me know. Running away from the theater from whatever meddling intruder awaited him on the other side of the room. As hospitals are commonly associated with death, it's perhaps no surprise that there have been countless sightings of strange ghostly shapes and figures around them for years. Kit Williams's mother-in-law was yet another individual who had a peculiar experience in her hospital room in Brisbane, Australia. In the unsettling photograph, the camera is pointed towards the ceiling of a hospital room. In the mid-right view of the photograph, we can see an air vent. While most of the vent looks normal, we can see a strange yellow-brown shape on the left-hand side that seems to peer out eerily into the room. What makes this bizarre figure even scarier is that the mother-in-law claims the shape would blink and look around the room as if inspecting her from above. Even more terrifying, the mother-in-law claimed that she would feel others touching her and waking her up, but no one was around when she would wake up. That's weird. Others who have viewed the photograph suggested that the figure could simply be a small animal, such as a possum, that have been known to crawl around air vents. Others believe this figure could be something paranormal with sinister intentions. Further still, some have suggested it could be a peeping tom that has crawled into the vents for a better view. Either way, there's no denying that this air vent is definitely home to something that shouldn't be there. Okay, hold on. This is important. I want to. I gotta read this. I gotta see what you guys are talking about. Um, Rhonda says she get notifications on her computer. Libby says she get notifications. Sabrina says I get notifications. Um, though after you were hacked, I didn't get them. Had to hit the bell again to get all the notification, and now it works again. Um, Lady Ari says I get your notifications all the time. Awesome. So channel members definitely do get the notifications. Christopher says that he gets them 50% of the time. Okay. Huh. Well, at least my channel members are getting them. Dang. Come on, YouTube. Do better. I need to have a meeting with Mr. Um, Mr. Beast. I need to have a meeting with Mr. Beast so I can step it up <laughs> I got so much I got planned this year for YouTube I still got to make this other channel for vlogs and stuff huh this bizarre footage of an Oklahoma parking lot oh yeah by the way you guys I got two Jeep vlogs already ready to be uploaded they're already edited I had an editor edit them for me I'm just waiting until I make this other channel because we're sticking to live streams over here only. ...has made its way around the internet since it was first captured in 2002. Like many infamous scary videos, the footage has become something of a legend. Known as the Impound Ghost, something truly unsettling was captured on CCTV camera. Yeah, nah, that's weird, because that's not even moving around right. That don't even, that, that ain't human. The news clip features the impound lot employee, Kathy Henley, who first noticed the odd figure on the security cameras. 
Um, our alarm was on, so nobody jumps the fence. The worker claims to have been frightened by the footage, which seems to show a ghostly figure circle its way around the impound lot. Hey, for your information, I did it myself, big baby. <laughs> hey, who is that? Who is that? Hold on, hold on right quick. Who said that? Hold on. I lost it. I can't find it. I can't find it. Nope, just Nate says, loving the beer lineup, ain't you? I, yeah, I do, I do. Every time I shave, I line it up just right. Just for you, babe. <laughs> the figure is stiff and white and seems to almost teleport its way atop a circle of vehicles. Clearly scared of what she was seeing, the impound lot worker then claims to have asked one of her co-workers to... That's messed up. Um, she's... No one says, I've been subscribed to your channel for four years and just recently stopped getting all the notifications. Come on, YouTube, stop hating on me. Go and see what was going on. However, the employee found there was not a single soul in sight when they went to investigate the odd occurrence. Yeah, this is, a yeah this is a CCT, CCTV clip. Yeah, it could only be seen on video, with other videos online offering extended footage of the ghost's odd behavior. Yes, yeah, so crazy. Potato 99. 1999. 1899. Shit. The employee in the news clip explains that three of the vehicles in the impound lot that night were from fatal accidents. One accident had only just occurred that night. A paranormal investigator floated the theory that the ghost was likely someone involved in one of those deadly accidents. <laughs> Green Nye, shout out to you, thank you for the little twin dot don't know, big baby. Perhaps it was even looking for their car. Man, where the ghost gonna look for their car? Look, I'm gonna say it right now, y'all. If this camera cut out, I'm sorry. The live stream just gonna end right there. I don't, I don't, it ain't giving me no signs that it's gonna do it, but I just feel it in my loins. <laughs> The figure appears to be circling, lost and confused by the wreckage left behind. With that in mind, this footage becomes even more tragic. That's crazy. Most of the- Sonya says she never received notifications. Make sure you go into your settings on your phone and allow YouTube to send you notifications. And go and unsubscribe. Not, well, you don't have to unsubscribe, but unring the bell of all the other channels that you ring the bell to so you can only get one bell from this channel right here and then you won't be annoyed <laughs> time when people hear strange sounds in their house they can be explained by a house settling the weather outside Raquel shout out to you happy birthday happy early birthday I or other housemates moving about reddit user Oopy spoopy man began to hear strange noises in his kitchen but this time, something far more terrifying may have been to blame. In the photograph, we see a hallway that leads to a kitchen. The part of the kitchen we can see initially looks dark, though there seems to be a strange blur to the left of the door. When we zoom in on the picture, oh, the blur takes on a- Oh, snap! How come I didn't see that before? That scared me. That's <laughs> I felt chills go up my back. <laughs> Now I gotta go back. Ugh, I felt it again. Felt like something just touched me just now. Oh yeah, I couldn't see that. I didn't know what that was until they zoomed in and highlighted it. Kitchen. The part of the kitchen we can see initially looks dark, though there seems to be a strange blur to the left of the door. When we zoom in on the picture, the blur takes on a horrifying shape. The blur comes into focus to show what looks to be a man's head turned to the side, completely white with dark eyes gazing at the photographer. Initially, many other Reddit users couldn't see any shape. When they were able to look at the picture closer, they completely freaked out and began to come up with many different theories. The original Reddit poster claimed that his housemates were all out of the apartment when the picture was taken and that there's simply no way to explain what was captured on film. He ended up deciding to move out of the residence and in with his family, too scared at the possibility of seeing the figure once again. I don't blame you. I would have moved out too, because that's what you're supposed to do. You get out. You, get, you, you say, uh, 
Nope, not me. And then you just walk up out the door, grab all your belongings, because I'd be scared I'm going to see that figure again, too. Look, she not me. While some skeptics bring up the potential that the figure could be someone in a mask. That's not the one you would want to be in the mask, because if that's the figure that's showing up, you really need to get up out of there and hope he don't find you, because somehow he always do. Yeah, he, he, he. He ain't human. Such as Michael Myers, as seen in Halloween, most agree that the original poster shouldn't take the chance of staying in the residence. Show, sure, but not. So what do you think that mysterious face could be? Love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Now you got me thinking it's Michael Myers. The London. Or oh, Michael Myers impersonator wannabe, that's just as bad, because they could be capable of some... Some nasty destruction as well, be honest with you. Underground has been reported to be haunted for many years. Alright, now look, we got five new channel members up in here. Let's see how long y'all gonna really stay channel members, you feel me? You see channel members get notifications, you know? With a long and dangerous history, it's no wonder passengers and staff alike have seen and heard things that can't quite be explained. Neil Andrew Pike and his children were returning home from a day out visiting the Science Museum in Kensington. Pike had been filming all day, capturing the afternoon out with family. While waiting for the train at... Real quick, I just gotta say a special thank you to all of you guys that are here, but an even more special thank you to all of my channel members. I appreciate the support. That's major. That's love. That's appreciation. And I'm dedicated to y'all being dedicated to me. Seriously. Knightsbridge Tube Station, Pike was filming the dark tunnel, expecting to see the train arrive at any minute. That's when he noticed some movement, but couldn't quite tell what had happened. When he watched the footage back, he was stunned at what he had captured. The video was uploaded to the YouTube channel Zero Fox FK for all to see. Oh, what? Take a look. I'm busy. Supposed to be it's seen. hard to spot at first, but if you zoom in, there's a dark figure leaping out onto the tracks. To make this sighting even more chilling, Knightsbridge Station has a dark and gruesome past. According to historical data, in 1664, the area was used as a plague pit. Anyone who died at the Knightsbridge Lazar House, which is basically a leprosy quarantine zone, was buried deep underground, right near the current tube station. In fact, the train tracks curve sharply between Knightsbridge and South Kensington stations, just to avoid the old burial grounds. So could the shadowy figure caught on camera by Pike be linked to the old plague pit? Possibly. Taking pictures in the mirror is usually a fun activity for most people to... Sim days are over, they better be. They put a fight I don't know. ...do together. Unfortunately, for Reddit user Bedaily13, what was supposed to be a fun mirror picture with her sister turned into an unnerving mystery. In the picture, we see a fogged up mirror with a finger drawn heart right in the middle, presumably with the sister's name scribbled inside of it. We can also make out the two sisters posing but what we see in between the girls is what makes this photo a scary puzzle. In between the sisters are what seem to be two ghostly figures, with one standing above the other as they both look into the mirror. I see it, and that's creepy. That's real, real creepy. That's real, 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 real creepy. I see it. Um, ...with the girls. The original poster explained that her house was originally built in the 1960s, but there was no... Ab Anybody see what happened to my comb? normal history that took place in the house that she knows of, even after doing some extensive research on its background. Other Reddit users suggested that the two boyish figures could have been siblings in another time, who wanted to join in on the photo and believe there's no huge threat to the girls. Still, the mystery of who these boys are and why they chose this particular house to appear is a puzzle to everyone who's seen the photo. Wait, 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 what's going on here? What's going on? This unsettling photo was submitted to Reddit by user Red Desert Cowboy. The uploader claims the photo was taken in 2012 during a demolition of the old East Junior High School in Wyoming. 
A woman on site was documenting the demolition of the historic building, when one of the photos seemed to capture something more than a record of posterity. In the photo, a figure stands among the rubble. Shout out to Late Blooming Beauty and Sniper. We've got two new channel members in the building. Oh, 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 Formula as well. Shout out to you, Tree. Thank y'all. We in here. It appears to be a woman in a white dress. Her head is bent on an unnatural angle. A second, lightened version of the photo shows the figure in more detail. You lied to me, it's not in my beard. You played me. Many of the you made me look stupid. The comments on Reddit made the connection between the frightful image and the bent neck lady. Oh, we, we've seen this one before. Did in Netflix's horror series, Haunting of Hill House. Yo, her neck broken. The uploader claims the old building dates back to around the 1920s and that it was used as a brothel for a period of time. It then became a home of education where students often reported seeing ghostly figures. There you go, Fatini. Good morning. In darkened areas of the hallways. Oh, heck no. Nah. Berserk babe. She said my daggone comb was next to my mouse. How are you that spot on? How, how could you even see that? I'm watching you, watch, are you watching me? Wait, what? There's no indication of who this woman in white might be. There appears to be no deaths linked to the property. So why then are there so many reports of ghostly activity? Until further information comes to hand, this freaky bent neck lady will have to remain an unsettling mystery. How's it? You miss Travis? I don't. <laughs> this is where menacing figures once. I haven't seen Travis all year. Wait, how long? How long have we been in this year? I don't remember the last time I saw any of them. When I say any of them, I mean Travis and his and his friends. Was that my birthday? Have I seen them since? I've probably seen Travis since. I don't know. Lived have often been the setting of I spend more time with women. That's many a horror film. While they're terrifying themselves in the movie world, they become even more frightening when one visits these houses in real life. Slaptown viewer Christopher G proves why this is so with the photograph he shared originally sent to him by a friend who visited an old home with plenty of history. In the photograph, we see a room that appears to be an attic with objects and furniture strewn about. While the camera's- Hey, y'all see this fool right here? This fool don't look normal. Don't look normal at all. Focus seems to be a pink chair covered with an American flag. Lake Bloom, and shout out to you. Thank you for the twin out on the big baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jessica just blessed another five of y'all. Which channel membership, big baby? Y'all better say thank you. In the direction of the photographer. While the bottom half of the figure is harder to make out, the head of the figure is more defined, looking like a man with a darkened face. The photographer didn't initially notice the figure until the photo was posted online. The figure becomes even more frightening once the history of the house is brought into context. The house once belonged to Captain George Conrad Flavel, who moved into the home with his wife and son in 1901. The house was passed down to Captain George Conrad Flavel's son, Harry Flavel, who lived there with his wife and two children until he died in the 1950s. But it was in the 1940s when trouble first started. Harry Flavel's son, Harry S, attacked a neighbor with a hatchet in 1947. Yeah, 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 I used to try so hard to get Travis in my videos. He He's not a social media person at all, on any sense. He doesn't do social media. He might post a couple of pictures here and there on Facebook if he travels somewhere. But other than that, he don't be on social media at all. But, um, yeah, he was really annoying. He got under, he didn't get under my skin, but he got on my nerves every single 
day for four years. Four freaking years. I don't need that. I'm diabetic. I don't need that kind of stress in my life. After the incident, the flavels became ostracized by the rest of the neighborhood. And what makes it so bad is during those four years, I was also diabetic and didn't know it. But knowing how I was feeling during my bad days earlier this year, um, I definitely experienced a lot of those those feelings during those days, um, during those times um, that, that I was living with Travis. And um, yeah, he definitely caused me a lot of unnecessary stress. Being as recluses in the home. 40 years later, Harry S. went on to randomly attack a neighbor's car with a chain. He eventually stabbed the neighbor too. He served seven years in prison and when he returned, the family quickly moved out of the house where it was abandoned for nearly 20 years. Dang. Having housed a man who was prone to attacking those around him, the question arises. Could the creepy figure caught in the photograph be the spirit of Harry S, displeased with visitors to his once territory? That's crazy. Or could it be that a spirit with evil intent perhaps drove Harry S to these violent actions? Both theories coupled with this photo. I feel like that's real too, because at first you can write it off as possibly being a person standing here, but nah, it's only head and upper torso and it just fades into nothingness. Like this is an actual spirit looking out the window and he looks yoked like he's ready to F somebody up. But make for an unsettling conclusion either way. This video was uploaded to YouTube in 2014 by user James McLean. It begins with the uploader stating he's been hearing noises all night. Okay, I've been here all night. He begins to investigate when suddenly a guitar can be heard being strummed in the back room. As the camera holder investigates, something chilling happens in the hallway. Hello? A picture frame inexplicably falls to the ground, along with what looks like some wood panelling. Jesus Christ! The camera holder is clearly frightened as he backs away from the incident. I remember this. I remember this. Yo, no, this dude sounds genuinely f frightened with his potato 99. According to a post on Reddit, an old friend of James died. AJ, that is a fantastic question. I actually reached out to some content creators that do um, paranormal um, ghost hunts and stuff all the time. They're actually um, in the process of making a website so that they can post the stuff on there that YouTube won't allow them to show. Um, yeah, and I, and I reached out to them, but they live in a different country um, about doing a ghost hunt. It's hard for them to get here with the COVID, I can't even say that word, restrictions. Y'all yeah, know what I was about to say, but I asked them, I was like, hey, what are the restrictions for me to come to you guys? So we'll see. We shall see. I am planning something, but I also am scared as far as my back is concerned right now. I gotta I gotta I gotta, I gotta take it slow. I can't rush into doing anything because I, I literally can't rush. I, I, I can't run if I need to. And that's not a good thing. So bear with me. I still wanna do it. I still want to do it. And I still want to go to Savannah and, and do a ghost hunt down there too. But uh, I'm just been trying to get my health in order first. In the back room where the guitar can be heard. See, see. It's alleged that James often had dreams of his deceased friend that seemed unnaturally real. It was though he was talking to him in person. An undefined figure was all. Ooh, I wonder if that is the spirit using its abilities to kind of inject itself into your your dreams. So often seen lurking in the house, but would quickly disappear. The Reddit post also announced that James sadly passed away of a heart attack in the same room in March of 2019. No. He was just 40 years old. No. So could this footage show James's friend attempting to make contact? Hello? 
I didn't know that from the last time we watched this. That this guy passed away. This guy that's filming right now passed away in that room at the young age of 40 years old from a heart attack. Man, that's sad. Some viewers have noted the blurry quality of the footage, suggesting it was a... No, Ruby, it isn't. And I'm not going to say who it is. ...hoax and that some string might have been used to pull the picture frame to the floor. Jesus Christ! However, considering the tragic backstory, it seems unlikely that someone would fake the footage for some cheap thrills. Jesus Christ! Many individuals post eerie pictures and videos. Oh yeah, Rhonda. Um, last year and the year before, chiropractor was my life. <laughs> Spent thousands and thousands of dollars was going three to four times a week. Yeah, chiropractor was my life. On social media in hopes that others can explain the creepy stuff that they've seen. Facebook user Tyler Thornton did just that with the photos he uploaded of what was supposed to be a completely empty house in Victoria, Australia. The photo taken at the house of the Facebook user's recently deceased father is a close up of a window. Here, viewers see a glimpse of the kitchen, but what stands inside of it is what's gone on to divide the internet. Standing to the viewer's left of the kitchen is what appears to be a tall man holding and looking down at something. Kind of looks like that. The man's face and body look grey and hard to make out, but stand out clearly across the black background. The uploader of the photo emphasises that no one was home when the photos were taken and other Facebook users quickly began to post theories as to who the man could be. Some automatically suggested a ghost, resembling a man who's doing the dishes. While another user wondered if the man could be a squatter. The photo still divides viewers today, with no definite answer as to who the figure is ever given. The ghost footage submitted to the GMA Public Affairs YouTube channel by one Leah Panita Fuentes claims to show the spirit of a bride's deceased mother. As the text before the photo states, just wanted to share this photo taken last August 2016. It was my sister-in-law's wedding. Her mum died in 2007. I feel like I remember this picture, but I felt something else. I'm arranging a picture to post on FB. I was shocked by what I saw. Mama was there a long time ago. When zooming in on the picture, there's a mysterious figure partially hidden by a bouquet of flowers. While the photo is blurry and hard to make out in any great detail, the family insists it resembles the bride's deceased mother. As Fuentes pointed out, it would seem her sister-in-law can rest assured knowing her mother is likely still watching over her during the big transitions in her life, which is surely more of a comforting thought than anything else. While the purpose of motion sensing cameras is often to keep individuals inside a residence safe from things outside of it, sometimes it's the inside forces that pose the biggest threat. Slaptown viewer Phil Hayball offers evidence of this with a photo he shared of a friend's house in the United Kingdom. In the picture, the motion sensing camera is pointed at the front door. This time, there's no need to zoom in to get a closer look. The petrifying oh, figure is clear as day, hovering right in front of the entrance to the home. The large figure, semi-transparent, seems to be wearing a large cloak or trench coat that covers its body except for its large, dark hand hanging from a sleeve. The head of the enormous figure is cut off by the top of the image. There's no denying that a strange figure is in this photograph. Though, what this figure could be is a mystery to all who see it. Phil Hayball says he has no further information on the figure or what it could possibly be, making this one of the more head-scratching motion-sensing camera puzzles we've seen. It almost always seems as though security officers get the short end of the stick when they're the only one around in often deserted buildings. This video, which first appeared on LiveLeak and was later uploaded to YouTube by user Tempest Zero, is yet another example of this. 
It's not clear whether the building in question was already known to be haunted. However, it seems it certainly was being haunted at the time this video was recorded. The footage was captured by the only security guard on duty in a Costa Rican office. He introduces the video by explaining he's been hearing weird noises coming from the women's restroom. Not only this, but the door to the restroom was seen opening by itself. Going against all horror movie lore, the security guard actually turns on all the lights in the building so he can get a better look. He says he can hear odd sounds when suddenly something creepy happens in the background. I remember this. Por Dios, ve a la silla. Although it's difficult to see, the security officer claims that the chair moved by itself. Wait, no, this is different than the clip that I thought it was. I thought this was the clip where the light turns off and you can see somebody like opening up a fridge that walked by, but you couldn't see them there before. This ain't the same clip. Moments later, the chair moves yet again, this time more visibly. No man, it, the the camera quality is so boo boo. How will we know if this dude is not using like tooth floss <laughs> to dig on pull this chair or not? It's, it's potato ninety nine at its finest. Just when you think it doesn't get any creepier, keep an eye on the door. Without knowing the conclusion of the odd event, one can only hope the security officer left the building without experiencing too much trauma. Is there anything scarier than a family picture gone wrong? Chris Downing soon discovered that perhaps no, nothing is, with a family picture that was taken with his children in 2012. The picture first appears to be a normal family photo, with Chris Downing sitting in the middle, his daughter to the viewer's right and son to the left. The family all seem to be perfectly happy, smiling for the camera, but a look at the son's leg begins to paint a different picture. On the son's leg appears to be a small hand that seems to grip onto him, which comes from no discernible body or another figure that we can tell. The hand only looked real. Downing explained that a week after the photo was taken, his daughter called him and frighteningly pointed out the hand that was gripping the son's leg. None of the family members were able to explain the hand in the photo initially, though Downing soon came up with an idea. Prior to the photo being taken, Downing had suffered a drug overdose, where he had temporarily passed away before coming back to life soon after. That's crazy. Downing believes the only logical explanation of the hand in the photo is that a ghost or spirit came back with him from the afterlife. Most of the commentators of the photo are quick to disclaim the picture, simply suggesting the hand could be one of a relative out of the shot. However, the family has been adamant that no one else was in the room beside the photographer. Dying and coming back to life is a very rare medical occurrence. So it's definitely not hard to believe that something just as unusual could have joined him on his journey back to reality. In late 2019, a group of friends attended a night market in the Philippines. They huddled together to snap a memory of their trip to the bustling market. I remember this Nothing picture. Nothing seemed amiss until one of the group members reviewed. Look at that, look at that. Who's this? Who kid is that? The photo. And why are they so pale? There on the right hand side is a small child's face jutting out on a strange angle. The face is pale and slightly out of focus. Yeah, you can barely see that weird looking hand in the last clip. It doesn't match the skin tones of the rest of the group at all. No one there that day remembers seeing a small child in the area, let alone right next to the group when the photo was taken. 
Some viewers have taken the pale features of the child as a sign that it's not of this world. Some ghostly visage attempting to make contact. Yearbooks can already be scary enough thanks to awkward adolescents forever captured in photographs. But what if something else equally as harrowing is caught on camera? Slaptam viewer Corey S offers viewers the chance to see something not commonly seen in yearbook photos in his dad's 1984 book. Upon first glance, viewers of the black and white photograph see two young women sitting on a couch in white dresses, That's all smiling I see. for the camera. Oh, I see a little boy in the back right here. There are windows that seem to show the trees outside of the house or perhaps a building in the back. Upon closer inspection, viewers can suddenly see something else. What appears to be a man standing behind the window on the left. I like a little boy. He appears to be wearing a cap with his hands crossed in front of him, looking to that look like hair. directly into the camera. It, 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 that, I don't see that at all. I see a little boy. I can see the frame of his body. It looks short like a little boy. And he got he got a hair, got a little flap of the hair that's going over his forehead. Not like a bane, but like a like a like a point or something. And he ain't looking directly into the camera. He looking that way. He looking behind this girl direction. Do do do. But outside. Corius explains that his father and his father's high school classmates could never identify who the man was in the photograph. While some have suggested that the picture could simply be a case of double... Right, exactly. In that last little picture, it'd be the same little scary Asian girl face in all the videos and pictures. Exposure. Corey S. denies this due to the man's position behind the window frame. Could this man just be a reflection, or could it be a ghostly figure who wanted to leave his mark? It's a little boy. Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. I see a little boy. And he got his hands in front of him. Well, that's the end of today's episode. And that is the end of today's live stream, y'all. We're gonna do this again tomorrow because we got some live streaming to make up for. But anyway. Y'all enjoyed this live stream. Make sure y'all hit that like button. You should already be subscribed because if you in the chat, you can't chat without being subscribed. But hit that like button for your boy. Make sure. Make sure you do that. Anyway, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Y'all be safe. Have a good night and good morning to Fatini and everybody over there on her side of the world. <laughs> and I'm gonna see y'all later. Be safe. Be easy. Peace. Wait, I gotta do some shout outs. I forgot. <laughs> Yo, real quick, shout out. Shout out to Bailey for copying something on the website. Shout out to Shilton for copying some merch. Shout out to Jeremy. Your name is German? Shout out to Jeremy for copying merch. Keith for copying some merch. I can't say your name. Tershine? Tershine? Miss Cook, shout out to you. And, and, Whoa, that's a different one. Kessart? 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 I can't even... Your last name is is even more difficult. Shout out to you. <laughs> Thank you for copying merch. I'm going to sign all this stuff and have it sit and sent to you.